A beauty pageant in Japan is highlighting the ugly truth about discrimination. Ariana Miyamoto was born and raised in Japan. Her mother is Japanese and her father is an African American. Even though she won the Miss Universe Japan pageant, social media critics are saying she doesn't look Japanese enough. CCTV's Terrence Terashima is in Tokyo with more on the experiences of mixed race people in Japan. <laughs> There's a Japanese proverb, a nail that sticks out gets hammered in. It reflects the traditional Japanese culture that everyone is expected to conform and follow the rules. In other words, if you exceed or underperform from the mediocrity, you are a subject of discussion. For good or bad, many mixed-race Japanese have felt this by their appearance or behavior different from the average Japanese. Experts say, although it is changing with the new generations, Japanese tend to like to stay within the expectations of the norm. So many Japanese find it difficult to relate to the mixed culture Japanese or even those Japanese that grew up abroad by their appearance or behavior. Is this because Japan is a homogeneous society? Edward Smoto, who organizes discussion sessions for mixed-rooted Japanese, say Japanese are more cultural than homogeneous. I don't think um, the majority, you know, really cares that much about homogeneity, but it's true that people are very attached to their community, in the older sense maybe, and also in culture. And that comes with it a sense of um, the standard or the norm, right, which people want to follow or want others to follow when they come from outside. Is this a discrimination? And what differentiates mixed-rooted Japanese from the other foreign residents in Japan? Some say mixed-rooted Japanese can be scrutinized with questions more than the foreign nationals, who are clearly different. They are accepted as being different, whereas if you are partially Japanese, it feeds curiosity. Many say they sometimes feel that the line between acceptance and being a harpu, Japanese term for mixed-rooted Japanese, such as, you don't look it, but you're so Japanese. Sandra Heffrin, a German-Japanese author who wrote books on experiences of being a harpu, says she had such experience. I think most of the people don't mean to be offensive, but just because it wasn't intended doesn't mean it's not a discriminatory expression. Both Sandro and Edward said diversity is apparent. There are more mixed-rooted Japanese in the society, but for many, especially for the older generations, it is difficult to stray too far from what they perceive as the norm, but it is slowly changing. Terence Teoshima, CCTV, Tokyo.